What is up all my favorite people of the whole entire world, my name is Zack and trust me, this is not my normal voice. Today we are talking Death of Stone, a brand new movie review. And yes, I'm not. I'm going to try and do this accent for a majority of it until I laugh or break out or I'm just tired of doing it. But Death of Stone is a brand new dark comedy that came out last year at a lot of the festivals, but this year it's... It's coming out on VOD and coming to some markets, and you know, I really wanted to talk about this film, and you know what, I'm totally done doing that accent because I can't do it, I, I can't. But seriously, Death of Stalin is a brand new dark comedy. Uh, I've been looking forward to this film pretty much highly. Uh, when I got the screening invite, I was like, you know what, I'm there, I want to watch this film, because one, the writer and the director of this is from Veep. If you've never watched Veep, it's one of the most brilliant, underrated shows, I think, on HBO right now. It is so funny. It's a laugh out loud. It has such a great cast, but it's really the writing and the directing in that show that makes what the show is. So going to this had a lot of hype for it. Has a good cast involved, and did it disappoint me at all? You know what? I'll say this. Death of Stalin is certainly a very fun, entertaining movie. And it did disappoint me in some categories, which we'll get to in a little bit, but overall, the film is very witty. It has some of the best dialogue I've seen in a comedy in, like, a long time. And like I said, it's a dark comedy, so I think that's where I wasn't expecting it, to see how dark it would go sometimes, um, because this film, it didn't give me as many laugh-out-loud moments as I had. Don't get me wrong, almost all the jokes land and make you laugh, but none of them made you gut-bust laugh. None of them made me remark out loud and maybe that's just because I watched it at home on my laptop. I didn't watch it with a group of people. And maybe you go see this film in theaters with people. Maybe you'll get more laugh out loud moments and have more fun. Or maybe if you watch it with a group of people on video on demand, maybe that'll work more for you. But for me, the laugh out loud moments were just, ha <laughs> ha, oh yeah, that's funny. Or stuff like that. Or it's very witty. But the dialogue is what really makes this film totally work, especially with the cast involved. And there's two big cast members that I want to talk about in this film, and that is Steve Buscemi first steals the whole show. He is so great. He gets the best dialogue in here. He is fantastic from start to finish. I love Steve Buscemi's whole character, his whole dialogue, his whole arc in this film. It was great. And that doesn't go sidetrack to any of the other characters in here because everyone else is also great. But the other noticeable actor in here for me personally was Jason Isaacs. And Jason Isaacs is, to, again, one of the most underrated actors, I think, working today. I haven't seen Star Trek yet, but he had this one clever little show on NBC that I wish didn't get canceled because he was phenomenal in there. He was also really good in A Cure for Wellness. And again, he is fantastic in A Death for Stalin. He has some great moments. And that's where I wish that he would have popped into this film a little bit earlier because he, when he pops back in the film, it got my interest back. In. As you heard me say, got my interest back in. Because I'll say this, there's roughly, the film's around an hour and 43 minutes, but some moments drag where you do laugh, but you're just like, okay, let's move forward, let's move forward. And I feel like there should have been some scenes that could have been cut out. And this film, I feel like you could have probably cut out 10 to 15 minutes and it would have made for a more seamless film. But like I said, when Jason Isaacs popped back on the screen, I, w I was on board. I, I was again interested within the film, but the film is a tad bit too long and the pacing really hurts it at some moments where it really loses its steam because it starts really well done with this whole orchestra scene and it's just very funny. It's very charming with the characters involved in this whole scene. But once that scene kind of comes out and we get into the main cortex of our story, there's some things that kind of in the middle of t up to the way of the Stalin's funeral that really just kind of kill the film for me and didn't totally work for me. Again, this film is very entertaining. By the end of the day, but what, by the end of watching this film, I enjoyed myself. I'd watch it again, I'd recommend the film, and I do think Death of Stalin is a really entertaining film overall, especially with the dialogue. I wish it had a couple more laugh out loud moments, I wish we would have gotten a little bit more of Jason Isaacs, and I really wish the film would have been shortened and tightened up for a better pacing overall, but in the end, like I said, I enjoyed Death of Stalin and I do recommend it, so with all that said, I'm going to give Death of Stalin a B-. Tell me guys, what do you guys think of Death of Stalin? Do you think it's a fantastic Russian movie? Do you think it's a fantastic comedy? Or have you never even heard of it? I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about it down below. And please tell me, do my Russian accent suck? Please, please make fun of it. Because that's what's going to be awesome to hear about in the comments and all you shit talkers talking about it. Other than that, make sure to hit up all my social media links down below so we can talk more movies. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well. And of course, if you want, of course, if you guys want to see early movies, advanced screens, and also catch up on some advanced movie news, then... Make sure to go check out Sandwich Sean Films because that website is awesome. Like I said, you get some advanced movie screenings, Ready Player One's coming up. That's a big one that I think a lot of people are looking forward to. You also got movie news on there that you guys don't want to miss out on because it's it's really easy. It's just click that link, you go down there and see some movie news, and it's nice. And that, guys, you guys are all the best. Make sure 
to stay classy and look out for more reviews soon. <laughs>